Every sport has a shoe to increase an athlete's performance. Runners have running shoes, and skateboarders even have skating shoes. Athletes literally spend thousands of dollars on footwear in order to be the best at their sport. But I only have my Crocs. So today I will be trying to successfully compete in six different Olympic sports, wearing only my Crocs. And I have so much faith in these shoes that if my Crocs break at all, or I fail more sports than I succeed, I will never wear Crocs again. So up first is track, and I must complete three things. 100 meter dash, hurdles, and the long jump. Three, two, one, go! You almost fell off on the first challenge. What do you think you got? I don't know, like 20 seconds? 14.4 14 seconds. 14 seconds. To give you guys perspective right now, Hussein Bolt broke that world record at nine seconds. So I was always a little bit shorter than that. Wow. All right, up next is hurdles. I placed four hurdles in a row, and all I have to do is successfully jump all of them in Crocs. Here we go. My feet got messed up, so I ended up flipping. The one thing that you did to recorrect that was flipping. <laughs> I guess so. The final thing of track is long jump. <laughs> so I guess I just gotta beat that. That's a long jump. That's good, that's a good joke. <laughs> it made the vlog. Now running track and Crocs may have looked pretty easy, but this next Olympic sport is gonna be way harder. The next Olympic sport is skateboarding. Skateboarding just recently got added to the Olympics, and now I'm gonna try to do it in Crocs. So how this is gonna work is I'm gonna try three different challenges with skateboarding. Dropping in, grinding on something, and then finally jumping off a ledge. I'm gonna die. What am I doing? Come on, man, you got it. You're wearing the Crocs in sport mode. I feel like I just dropped it from like a 12 foot ramp. If I fail any of these three challenges, I fail the entire sport of skateboarding. So the next challenge is a ledge. So my goal, jump on, jump off, and land successfully. That's too easy. It's not really too easy. Do a easy. kick flip after. Kick flip? Yeah, man, for sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Yes! So we got the ledge, we got the drop in. Now it's time to grind. Uh, Drew? I'm the skateboard, Nick. Oh, I was excited we were going to the club. <laughs> now grinding is one of the hardest tricks. You can either do it on a rail or you can do it on a box. But if you watch skateboarding at all, this is normally when people have the most fails. How many attempts I get? Three attempts. Oh. Right, you about ate it. Two more. Oh, that was awful! <laughs> That's a fail, huh? That's a fail. And remember, if I fail more sports than I succeed, I can never wear Crocs again. The next Olympic sport is ping pong. I actually didn't realize how big ping pong is in the Olympics, but it's one of the biggest sports. So I'm gonna be playing three people, and if I lose any of the matches, I completely fail the sport of ping pong. And my first opponent is Britt. Hello. So each game, we're gonna be playing to 11. Ready? Ready? <laughs> It and it hit your head. No <laughs> warm up or anything? <laughs> One zero. Game point. Let's go! Oh! I'm gonna go practice ping pong on my VR for an hour. <laughs> Make the best croc win. game I've played yet. Respect. This ping pong was a success, it's time to step it up to the bigger version of ping pong, which is tennis. So we're gonna do first team to four points. Drew, you know it's like, it goes by like 15, 30, 40, deuce. So four points. 
Yeah, I guess. So it's gonna be me and Britt oh versus Nick and Jaden. Baby, you got your Crocs? I right hear them. Right, serve it. I got it. Hit it down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Next Olympic sport is diving. If the waist is gonna work, I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna do a dive into the water. If my Crocs fall off, I lose. You're also not supposed to wear Crocs here or GoPros or film, so let's do this quick. So while I'm climbing up the stairs, risking getting kicked out of here, I would really appreciate it if you guys would hit that subscribe button. I might get banned from this place, but you guys subscribing will be all worth it. Oh my God. Here we go. Oh, my crack fell off. Well, that was a fail. So the final Olympic sport I will be doing is gymnastics. Gymnastics is one of the biggest sports in the Olympics. That being because there are six events. The rings, parallel bars, pommel horse, high bar, vault, and floor. And to make it even harder, if I mess up any of the six events, I fail the entire sport of gymnastics. Let's go, baby. Wow. No way. Up next is the high bar. That's a high bar. Now we're going to the parallel bars. And stuck the landing. All right, and up next is pommel horse. When I did gymnastics when I was younger, this was the hardest one for me. I absolutely sucked at it, so. I'm just gonna give it my best. If you do that right now on the Crocs, I'll pay you $100. Okay. You believe in me, Britt? No. Oh. Yeah, I'm done with that. All right, up next is the vault. You must start from one side of the gym, run, hit the springboard, do a front handspring on this right here, and land right there. Oh. All right, there is now one event left, and this one is all about your feet and foot placement, and that's floor. So in order to successfully complete the floor event, I must do a tumbling pass to one corner, a small trick into a handstand, and then a final tumbling pass to the opposite corner. Yeah, wish me luck. Nick. I knew I could always believe in the Crocs. So I guess it is true. You don't need all those fancy shoes to do Olympic sports. You just need a nice pair of Crocs. Comment down below what I should try in Crocs next.